a new day, and we thank God for allowing us this opportunity to watch this program, A Light for the Nation. My name is Emmanuel Odu. Now I told that the Bible is the Word of God. Today we're going to find out more about the Word of God and how powerful it is. Now to guide us in our reflections is Reverend Father Stanley Ikwaha. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. Lord God, your word gives life. Speak to us and give us a listening ear that we might have life, that we may have power to be your children. As your children, bless us wherever we go. Accompany us and watch over us with your eyes of mercy as a loving father would to his children. Assist us in all our daily struggles. Visit us in our needs through Christ our Lord. Amen. The power of the word of God. We hear it every day, everywhere, that the word of God is something alive and active. And what is this word of God? Is it a force? Is it a sound? Is it really something concrete? The word of God in Hebrew is davar. It is, made, it is more than a sound. It is, it is more than a thumb pointing to a reference. It is actually an extension of the personality of God. When we hear the word of God, it means that God is in our midst. And this word of God, this Hebrew davar, he is slightly different from the Greek logos, which is more of a principle, a principle of order, a principle of intelligibility. But the two are not completely different. The Greek logos is also a Greek interpretation of the Hebrew Dava, and therefore it also has that creative force, that force of God within. That is why at the beginning of the Gospel of John, John actually comfortably used Logos to describe the Word of God. That's why he said that in the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. Verse 14 says that the Word took flesh and pitched his tent among us and wet among us. Let us see the Word of God at the time of creation. God simply spoke, and things came into existence. So the word of God has a creative power. The word of God is also a creative force. Through the word of God, things came into existence. Things were created out of nothing. That is the first place we see the power of the word. The power of the word is found also at the time of creation. And we see the word of God also Manifesting his power in blessing. Through the word of God, God blesses us. God speaks and things begin to happen. Also, we see the power of God in cause. God can also speak and something painful happens. God caused Adam. God caused Eve. God caused the serpent. God also caused the land. And above all, when we look at it from our own human point of view, we are beings created in the image and likeness of God. As analogous beings, we also possess analogous words or analogous powers. God has also given us that power when he created us in his own image and likeness. When God created us, he did not only creates us in his own image. He imparted his dignity on us. And imparting that dignity upon us, he also gave us certain powers. So we human beings also participate in manifesting that part of the world. That is why we can also use our mouth to bless our two cause. In the Old Testament, we see it clearly, parents blessing their children. 
And also, even in our own time, there is always that room for parents to bless their children. We see our priests blessing their people. All this started from the time of Old Testament. Isaac could also bless his children. Even when a trick is involved, the blessing was valid. And that is why we say that whoever is blessed is blessed, whoever is cursed is cursed. And awareness of these facts brings about a moral implication. If we share also in that power of the word, then we have to control our tongue. As James will say, on the last day, we will be judged based on the words of our mouth. And in his letter to the Romans chapter 12, Paul will say, do not cause but bless. Because Paul was aware of the power of words which God has given to human beings created in his own image and likeness. Another place we see the power of the word is in our prayer as a communication with God. We bend our knees, we close our eyes, we join our hands and we pray. God answers us and situations change. God blesses us. That shows that the power, that the, the word that proceeds from our mouth at the moments of prayer has its own power. They are not empty words. And therefore, we should always cherish moments of prayer. Prayer is a divine communication. It is in prayer that we can communicate with God, the God who is so mighty, the God, the creator of heaven and earth. In prayer, we enter into dialogue with God as friends would communicate. And in our own time, we can also use our words to destroy many times. We can use our words to cause war. We can use our words to cause troubles. But we can also use our words to bless people, to make peace. And at this moment, I urge you, my brothers and sisters, since you partake in the power of the word, use your mouth to pull down walls of barrier. Use your words to actually construct bridges of reconciliation. Use your words to build up peace. Use your mouth to heal the sick. Use your mouth to bless. The words that come out from your mouth can be healing. The words that come out from your mouth can be very constructive. The words that come out from your mouth can even make people hope for a better tomorrow. The word that comes out from your mouth can even make people feel, now I believe that God lives. Now I believe that my Redeemer lives. Now I believe that I can face tomorrow. But also, the word that comes out from your mouth can even be destructive. You can use your mouth to damage people, to damage relationships. So it works in both ways. Both the word of God and also the word that comes out from your mouth at a leisure time have their own implications. They can either be constructive or destructive. Therefore, choose what you do with the power of God. But remember, on the last day, you will be judged based on the words that proceed from your mouth. So our prayer point today is that as we go out today, we will control our tongues. Even when people offend us, let us tell them, God bless you. Let us keep on blessing people. We can in this way make the world a better place. And as you do that, dear child of God, may God keep on blessing us all the time. Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. Reverend Father Stanley Ikwaha is of the Catholic Archdiocese of Abuja, telling us about the Word of God. I know you gained something from what he said. Go out, spread the word of what you have heard. Now, if you have any questions or suggestions or remarks, then send us a short message to the numbers you find on the screen. Or you can send us a mail using ctvnigeria at yahoo.com. Or you can like us on our Facebook. It would be great interacting with you. Another day has been given to you. Go and preach the word of God. Have a lovely day. Bye now. Father,
Jesus, I'm 